So one thing I've been meaning to do for a long time now, uh, ever since we got this truck, um, was to install a tire pressure monitoring system on our camper. One of the features we liked about this truck when we got it, it's a 2019 GMC Sierra, and one of the features that we liked is that it came with a tire pressure monitoring system for your trailer. Um, that was part of the package deal when you got this truck. And so they actually send valve stems with the truck and you just replace the valve stems in your, your tires on your camper and uh, then you can monitor that from the cab of the truck. And uh, so it's actually been a little over a year and we haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna do that um, today because we're actually gonna end up going camping this weekend. So I'm gonna take it to a place here in town called Stone Tire and they're gonna swap them out for me and uh, then we'll see how to configure that and actually get it set up in the truck so we can monitor that while we're driving. Uh, that'll go a long way in helping us as we travel with the camper. So, But the first thing we need to do, this truck is filthy. So we're going to wash it first, and uh, then we'll get that done. We just left Stone Tire. They got, we had Heath and Josh and Andrew, and they got us fixed up easy peasy. Took the tires off, swapped the valve stems out, and uh, got everything remounted for us. Um, great bunch of guys, man. Really easy to work with. So if you're in the Searcy area and you need some automotive work done, man, call those guys. They will take care of you, I promise. So now let's head back to the house let's see if we can get them programmed in and learned in and uh, then start monitoring our tire pressure from the camper okay guys i know i said i was going home the other day to do this tire pressure monitoring system and it just got too late and I had too many other things to do and so I had to put it off. Well, then I was gonna do it before we went camping um, and then that didn't happen either because I ran out of time. So we just got back from camping, just back to the trailer in and the light is going away. So I'm having to kind of rig up uh, just to set up to try to do this, but I'm gonna try to 
program this thing uh, before I unhook the camper so that way uh, it can be done and I don't have to try to reconnect to uh, to do it so uh, I'm gonna try to film the screen on this to uh, I've not watched any videos on this I've not done any kind of research so we're just gonna see how intuitive it is to make this happen so um, bear with me this this could get interesting so let's just see what happens when we try to connect the tire pressure monitoring valve stems to the system on this uh, GMC Sierra. Let's go. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do, this is the home screen here. Um, we're going to swipe over and hit trailering um, and get to our campers. Now I do have this camper already connected to the system and named as our happy camper. Um, and so if you're not familiar, it's just got kind of a, uh, this is kind of the main screen um, when you connect to it. So you name the camper and it can store, I don't remember how many campers or how many trailers it can store, but you can store settings for multiple uh, trailers as you connect and it just stores your settings, um, your trailer braking and just all your uh, details and information. Uh, there's a connection tab here that shows you your connection is okay. One of the neat features, it's got a button here that says start light test. Um, and so you can actually hit that and it'll start cycling through all of your lights, your brake lights, turn signals, and you can just kind of get out and walk around the, the truck and trailer and make sure everything is connected and working good. So if you're a one man uh, operation, that's actually a really nice feature to have. So um, here just kind of shows you uh, some of the trailer details, the total mileage that we've had with this trailer, um, and then kind of your maintenance, some of the, the reminders and things you can set up there. But under this trailer tab, you can see tire pressure setup. So let's just see. Click on that. Would you like to set up tire pressure monitoring for your trailer? Uh, must install the sensors in your tires before starting this process. We have done that, so yes, we would. How many sensors are installed on your trailer? Four. Next. Enter the recommended tire pressure for your trailer tires, uh, 15 to 100 PSI. This is typically the maximum tire pressure found on each tire sidewall. This information allows the vehicle to alert you to low tire pressure on your trailer. In this case, our tires are rated at 50 PSI, so I'm going to put that in there. Hit next. Press start, then go to each trailer tire to learn its sensor in the order shown. The horn chirps in the vehicle and trailer lights flash when done with each sensor. So I guess we start on the left hand side and work our way around to the front. So. Let's see, what does more information tell us? The trailer tire pressure monitoring system must learn the location of the installed tire sensor to show correct air pressure and temperature for each tire. You can set this up yourself with one of the following options or see your dealer for service. You must repeat the learning process when you rotate or replace your trailer tires. Tool method, you can use a tire pressure monitor activation tool, which obviously you would purchase separately, to learn the sensor locations. Manual method, if you do not have a tool, you can increase where here we go, increase or decrease the air pressure in each tire for 10 seconds. Do not exceed the maximum inflation pressure found on the tire sidewalls. Make sure to readjust tire pressure to the recommended level when you complete this process, which is what I'll have to do because I do not have that tool. So I'm gonna have to kind of let air out of the tool when I'm doing this. Um, so here's the steps to it. It's gonna walk you through it, I guess. Number one, you're gonna press start on the learn screen. The horn chirps twice and the learning, oh, it just disappeared. Well, maybe I wanted to see that again. Let's try it again. Let's go down, move a little quicker. Um, all right, so the horn chirps twice and the learning active screen appears on the radio. Go to the driver's side, front trailer tire, activate the uh, tool near the valve stem or adjust the air pressure. And I guess that's when it's gonna learn it and then move to the next tire, repeat it, return the vehicle, complete the setup. Okay, so let's give that a shot. We're gonna hit start. All right, it gives us two minutes to go and increase or decrease that tire pressure. So let's go do that. I'm going to undo the valve stem here and start releasing tire pressure. All right, and I heard a horn honk. 
a chirp, so that let me know that it received that information. Let's go check the screen and see exactly what it's telling us there. All right, learn sensor two. Let's move back and repeat the process. That should be all four. Heard a double honk to confirm that it's learned those. Okay, now we're back in the truck and looks like it's showing our temperature and our tire pressure. And if you can see we've got 41 PSI in the front at 88 degrees, 45 at 88, 42 at 86, and 42 at 82. Fantastic. That was actually pretty easy. Done. And there it is. So now anytime I'm driving down the road, I can actually access this screen and see exactly where my tire pressure is on the trailer tires. And hopefully help us if we uh, have a flat or start to lose air or something. So that was actually pretty simple. Um, good job, GMC. All right, I'm actually pretty impressed with that. Um, I feel like that was very easy to do. Um, I'm gonna go back around and increase the tire pressure back to the recommended 50 PSI, um, get it back up to where they need to be. Uh, but that whole process was pretty simple. So hats off to GMC and uh, um, that feature on this truck. So I don't know, I hope that helped somebody out there. Um, if you're thinking about buying a truck um, with this feature on it, or if you have one and uh, like me have not installed those uh, valve stems on your trailer yet. It was a very simple process and uh, I should have done this a year ago. So anyway guys, thanks for watching. I hope that helps somebody and we'll see you guys in the next video.